All right, today I'm going to show you how to make an alligator clip in order to test relays. You can test any relay. If you make alligator clips like this, got the alligator clip on the end and any size wire, but preferably use a, a, a thick size wire. I don't know what gauge this is. I don't know if it's eight or what. But see, you can tell the difference. This is thinner than this one. But you can use any kind of wire and make an uh, alligator clip. And uh, that way you can use, use it to uh, ground and test different uh, things, relays, uh, whatever, sensors, whatever. But uh, all you got to do is get the wiring size that you need, that you desire. And then uh, pick up different alligator clip sizes. Okay, they got a variety of different sizes: small, medium, got large ones. Doesn't matter. Whatever you need to do to uh, meet the need of whatever you're testing, you can do it. Okay. I had an extra piece of wire laying around like this. I cut it in half already. It was long. It was about like, or like three, four feet maybe. So I decided to cut it already. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to uh, cut the ends of the uh, insulator off, then expose the wiring like that. Okay? So cut all four ends. Well, cut the cut the length of size you need first. And cut all four ends. I used I have a uh, wire cutters wire cutters, but man, I was looking for them. I couldn't even find them. I have two pairs. I don't even know where they are. They are right now. So, so you can just do, use a razor blade like that. See? Just make sure you don't cut the wire. Just barely cut down on the insulation, and then pull it out like that. Okay? Let me show you one more time on this one. Okay? Just go around like that. Going about an inch below the end of the wire here. <clears throat> I'm lightly pushing down. Then I'll bend it to open it up a little bit. Expose the wire on the inside. Make sure you don't cut through the wire. Any of the strands in there. Sometimes you will, but uh, just try not to. See, break it loose like that. Cut again. Wiggle it around. Expose it. Grab your nail. Slide it off. Okay. Make sure you don't cut each one of these strands. Okay. Sometimes you'll clip one strand off, but try not to. All right. Okay. After that. Twist it up. The reason why I got it cut down to an inch is I'm going to fold it. Then I'm going to wrap it <clears throat> inside there and crimp it. Okay? So I'll twist this like this. Get nice and tight like that. Like that. Stick it inside. It's going to be a little tight. And grab a, uh, oh, where's my pliers at? Uh, these bad boys right here. Grab the end here. These work better with the right, the right tools, wire cutters. But I couldn't find mine, so just make do with what you got. Okay, ready? I'm gonna crimp it. Ready? Got the wire in there. Nice and tight, nice and snug. And I'm gonna crimp it, okay? There you go right there, okay? That's tight, it won't even come off. All right, so now, this is the other side of it, okay? Same thing, twist this. that then pick the size you want small or large but these ones I'm gonna go with the large ones right because I like to test heavy circuits uh, but you can make tiny ones too it doesn't matter like I made this one but the alligator clip fell off on one side and the other side broke See, no big deal it's that easy man you just crimp it you know expose more of the wire and crimp it on it it's that simple so let's finish this one up, the bigger one here. So squeeze that in there like that. 
push it down. Of course, I forgot to put the uh, insulator, but I don't care about that. No big deal. But if you want to uh, put your positive and negative red and black insulators on either ends, all right? Um, I forgot to, no big deal. I don't care about all that. Okay, crimp the bad boy like that. Okay, get that down like that. Crimp it, okay? <clears throat> That completes that wire. This is about two feet, maybe? Two feet and plus, a little bit more than two feet. This is perfect for testing, all right? Okay, I'm gonna make another one, then I'll be back and I'll show you how to test the relay, all right? Okay, now let's do it right. Let's put the uh, insulator cover on there for the alligator clip. Okay, I got this twisted up pretty tight about a little bit more than an inch. You slide that down, get it all the way down there like that. Okay, that's your negative bolt or insulator. Now, see I actually don't have any more of these big ones. See how this is a little bigger than this one? But no big deal, I don't care. So I'm gonna fold this, put this down. I'm gonna fold this like that. I'm gonna actually twist this, like this. Kinda make it a little more, bit more skinnier. All right, bro, check you out. I love you, too. work safe, okay? Okay, then I'm gonna put this in here, like that, all right? This is where you need the other kind of wire cutters that can do this. Squeeze this tight. So I'm gonna fold that side like that first. See how that one side's folded on the uh, left? I'm gonna come back here and fold the other side on it. Now I'm gonna use the crimping part, this part in here, to make to uh, make it even tighter. Okay. I'm gonna do it once like that. Then once like that. Okay, then check, check it, see if it slides off, it's good, it's nice and tight. Slide the boot back over like that. Kind of give it a little squeeze so it can fit in. And there you go, now it's done right. See, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side and uh, put the uh, positive part on this side, then I'll be back. Oh, where do you get these? Uh, you can get these from uh, an electrical store, uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, I'm not sure if Home Depot has them. Uh, Walmart, Walmart might have a set of uh, alligator clips. I think I saw them there one time, but I'm not sure. But Harbor Freight definitely has these. You don't have to go buy them made already. It's cheaper if you buy your own wire or, you know, just find it somewhere. Pull it off a car. Oh, where's that at? I got this here. Let me show you something else. This is from an O2 sensor. An old O2 sensor that I cut off, cut off one time. That's perfect. See, just the gauge, the thickness of the gauge is a little thinner on this uh, O2 sensor wire, but I'm just using this as an example. You can use any wire. Clip this off right here. Cut this bad boy off like that. Go get you some alligator clips. Man, put them on like that. You know? Oh, this is red, but oh well. See, there you go. Then you have jumper wires. Made out of um, simple wire that you uh, salvaged from whatever you were pulling off or whatever you have, you know, stored in your, you know, junk box or whatever. But anyway, this is stuff, you know, from my toolbox, junk stuff that I had laying around. Uh, it's homemade stuff, just make it up. You don't gotta buy this stuff made already, make it yourself. I'll be right back. Okay, got the uh, test wires done with the alligator, alligator clips, all right? Made two of them. Put two boots on one of them, red and black, and no boots on the other one. Thought I forgot, but oh well. Okay, now, <clears throat> time to test the relay. Hook up your positive. 
Wait, let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Let's show you that this battery has 12 volts. Yeah. Positive. Negative. Well, it says 15 because I got the battery charger on. But <clears throat> let's take this off. Your alligator clips, your test wires on battery. Positive here. So when you have these small alligator clips, you need something to uh, attach to. Bite on like that. Okay, that's positive coming. Now, negative. Hold on. Be right back. Okay, now I'm done with the uh, homemade testers, jumpers. Okay, got them hooked up here, all right? Let's start over. Got the positive, positive on the positive terminal on the battery, negative on the negative terminal on the battery. All right? So next you want to get your relay fuel pump relay right here okay this works with any relay you got to find out which one are the 12 volt supply uh, terminals all right I don't know which ones they are it doesn't matter you just mess around with it like this well you can look at this here here's how you do it okay you got to find out where which ones our 12 volt supply, they can close the uh, the relay in here, all right? This is a magnetic uh, relay in here. As soon as you apply voltage to uh, 85 and 86, it'll close 30 and 87 and shut, and you'll be able to hear it, okay? So let's hook up 85 and 86, which is this here. That's 85, wait, that's 86. If we touch 85, you hear that? That relay works perfect. So, 85 and 86 are the uh, 12 volt, 12 volt supply lines, well, supply terminals. So, and uh, a lot of relays, some have them, some don't. Some relays uh, will show you a small schematic of which side's the power side. You know, this inside here, this is electromagnet in here, in between 85 and 86, and once you apply voltage to 85 and 86, voltage goes across 85 and 86 around here and causes a ma magnetic pull, magnetic pull, and will pull this arm here and then complete the circuit of 30 and 87. All right, and that's what just went down right now. So one more time, 85 and 86, this is 86, let's do 85 first, this is 85, terminal, and 86, now listen, that right there is how you test a relay. You can uh, test all relays like that. Relays work off of uh, 12 volts. In order to operate these relays, they need 12 volt supply in order to close that little lever. All right? So just remember that. Relay, relay, relay. And um, there's other relays in different areas of the engine compartment, but uh, that right there is how you test the relay. Simple. Little alligator clips like this, you get wires, different gauges, whatever sizes you need, eight gauge, 16 gauge, whatever, small gauges for different components, and just uh, test that bad boy. Oh, let me show you one more thing. This is how you can check your uh, your relays. I mean, your, uh, your wires that you just made. Let's pull this off. I got this on the ohm meter. I have an audible sound on here. 
Okay, where is the, uh, let's put it on here. So I'm gonna put one of the terminals on that side and one on this side. Okay, so right there. That's how you test that, all right? You hear that little beep? This is the new alligator clip wire that we just made right here. Ah. Where you at? Okay. This right here, we're testing the continuity of this wire. All right. We're using the uh, multimeter right here. <clears throat> Watch the multimeter. All right. Here's one end. the other deal one in here there you have it right there battery's dying on my multimeter but anyway that's how you check it see and that there's how you do how you make your own alligator clips in order to test relays all right hope that helps you out and god bless